you, sorry, are you looking forward to the rematch between Flex and Haddy after the career 2017? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, but I'm like, I'm also kind of fearful because you know, you know how much Flex got for that. Like when he beat Haddy there and people didn't deserve it. I mean, <laughs> the guy was getting like death threats and I mean like that's, yeah. that's some of the fans could get really nasty. And I mean, I know Haddy would never, you know, wish ill will on anyone. He had probably had no hard feelings about that, but you know, bodybuilding fans can be very, very intense. So um, if I was flex, I'd be looking forward to it, but I'd also be kind of not looking forward to it. So mm. um, it'll be interesting, but yeah, I mean, from a bodybuilding fan standpoint, that's definitely going to be, you know, very interesting, you know, comparison. I'm sure the judges will really, you know, make those guys work to, to earn their spots against one another. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to see that for sure. But yeah, that's kind of who I see in my top four is flex, potty, Brandon and Phil. Okay, because I mean, for me, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously the Phil and uh, Phil and Brandon. That's the one that everyone's thinking and talking about. But for me, it's seeing um, Flex Lewis as a two, as as, as not a two twelve anymore. So he's going to be show. He's a complete. We don't know what he's going to look like. We don't know how big and how good he's going to look. But I'm really interested to see him up against William Bonak and Hadi Shupan, all at their best with no weight restrictions. I'm just, I'm so excited because if you look at it, Bonak's probably the best on paper as an open. You know, had he's, you know, really coming into his own, he wasn't even at his best last year and took third. And then you've got Flex that is a complete question mark. We don't know how he's going to look. Yeah, no, I completely agree. I mean, uh, you know, I think, yeah, if you put it on paper, obviously, you know, Bonac is, is the most dangerous from a statistic standpoint. But when I look at just sheer impressiveness as a bodybuilder. I mean, Hadi is just ridiculous. I mean, you know, when I did Vancouver Pro with him, I mean, it's... Oh, the guy God. You did that one, didn't you? Oh, my God. What was it like when you saw him backstage? Um, I mean, that's the funny thing about it. Seeing him backstage, he's not impressive at all. Really? That's the weird thing about it. And I said this to Melissa. I was like, it's crazy because when you see him backstage under, you know, not so great lighting, you can't see that insane detail and separation. Okay. And when he's his physique comes to life really when he's posing, like hits those abs and the abs are two inches deep and his quads <laughs> feathered right up to his hips. And, you know, there's so much detail that comes to life when he poses and really, you know, hits things. Hmm. Um, but I mean, in person, he's not tall. He's not 275 pounds. He's not Dallas McCarver, 6'3", 290, you know? Mm. So, I mean, you see him backstage, you're like, yeah, he looks good. You can see that his legs are big and there's some muscle there. But, I mean, he's <laughs> not, yeah. he's not one of those, like, freaky body part guys. Like, when you see, like, like, uh, um, what the heck's his name? What's, uh, what's his name? Oh, Michael Lockett. Yeah. You know, like someone like Michael Lockett backstage, you're like, what is that thing, you know? Yeah, he looks you know, like his delts and traps look like they're like something off another planet. Yeah, he's like, he looks completely insane backstage, but I mean, he's a good bodybuilder on stage, but mm. he's way better off stage, you know? Yeah. Uh, or Hottie is the complete opposite. And the second I, wa I was staying side stage and watched him go out into the light and start posing, it's like, what the fuck just happened, you know? <laughs> yeah. His detail, like it's his posing is so militant and perfect. Mm. You know, he knows how to pose exactly to display his physique. I mean, the detail and separation is like, I mean, nothing I've ever seen before. And I've been to Olympias with Phil and Jay, and I mean, all these guys. I mean, and and Hottie's level of detail and separation is just, especially from the front, is just completely unparalleled. It's it's something crazy to see. If Hadi had brought his Vancouver look to the Olympia last year, what do you think he'd have done? I think he would have been second. Oh, second. Okay. I, I, I mean, I, you could make a strong case for him winning, um, but they're obviously, you know, like something more about Brandon's look, um, you know, because even Brandon, I don't think was as good as he was at, before, at the Arnold, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. And still had him win over a really good Bonac and a, a pretty good Hottie and some other guys. So, um, you know, I, I think they'd really made their mind up with that. That was the kind of look and the physique that they really liked at that day. Hmm. Um, but I think he would have been better to, to pass. I think he would have surpassed Bonac. So I think he would have been a strong second. Yeah. I mean,